Now, the Ghana Education Service has reaffirmed its position to parents uh, of the country that it will not take any initiative opposite to cultural norms of the state. The statement comes in the wake of growing concerns that the uh, GES may be trying to introduce uh, sexuality standards that are alien into the Ghanaian society, into the Ghanaian curriculum. The, the introduction uh, or that alleged introduction of the Comprehensive Sexuality Education attracted, attracted heavy backlash from the public. Speaking at a stakeholder engagement on the way forward for reproductive health education in the country, Council Chairman for the GES, Michael Nsoa, emphasized that authorities have no plan of displeasing Ghanaian parents. It shouldn't be a problem at all. How can a man sleep with a man? I mean, it doesn't exist in our culture. But uh, it is there. Sometimes on radio and the media, you hear people be interviewed who will tell you their experience. I say, hey, so human beings can, I don't know. Uh, I'm told uh, Mugabe said, uh, if dogs even know, you know, their sexuality, what's going on with human beings? What's going on with human beings? But I want to assure you that the ministry and Ghana Education Service will not change the culture of this nation. Will not. We cannot. We are all passing through this uh, country called Ghana. So why would, at a certain point, people in charge of making sure this country exists and uh, ensures its identity want to change it and leave? And when we leave, what happens? We want to continue as we were, like the soldiers would say, as we well, as we were, because Otherwise, how will people know we are Ghanaians or African? Sometimes I don't want to talk about Africa because sometimes, if you don't know, some African countries have, uh, have been changed and therefore, how will people know we are Ghanaians? And that is why it is important. If something is going wrong and if you detect anything, please draw our attention and when we come together like this, we'll be able to find a solution to it whatever is going on. On behalf of the Minister and the Ministry of Education, I want to thank everybody and assure you, the assurance is that all the ideas that have been put out here will be put together. And in the end, when the final syllabus is sent to the schools, everybody will be happy they contributed to this uh, document. Thank you very much. Some of the parents and stakeholders who participated in the discussion session told us they were happy with the proceedings so far. They commended government for organizing the platform and called on guardians across the country to be more assertive on the matter of sex education. Today they provide us the opportunity to speak and so we are going away with the fact that government wants to engage and we'll see in the future whether that uh, intention to engage is one that is a serious one. This is the first step. The message is that uh, education is one of the key gates to the nation. Everything that we do depends on how we educate ourselves. Ultimately, it's the quality of our human resource, and education makes that difference. In this engagement, the government of Ghana has, as it were, agreed to work with us to come up with, a, with content that is suitable for our children. We want all citizens to join us in holding the government of Ghana accountable to ensure that future generations have the quality of education that makes them upright, have integrity with a value system that allows our society to continue to flourish. The government is ready to listen and is ready to work with all the stakeholders to give our children something that in the next 20 years will not be embarrassed that we open a door to something we were not too certain about with regards to sexuality education reproductive sexuality education or whatever you may call it. It came as CSE initially and it was all over the news towards the end of last year. But interestingly, the name has been changed, though the content is still the same. <laughs> so um, after listening to all of the people that made their submissions and listening to the, the part of the government, um, I have come to a place of believing that culture will play a big role and that we will not just be handed over any document that we choose to adopt by outdooring with our own name, but at the end of the day, we are singing the tune that doesn't really belong to us. 
I believe that there will be many more engagement. Why do I say this? Because I've heard him say we have about one more month. People should make their submissions, don't submit it to an email, and then we're going to look into it, but we will not produce anything until we are sure we are producing what represents the Ghanaian populace. The Ghana Education Service is meanwhile assuring parents that more consultations will be done before the uh, start of any material concerning sex education for children. The outfit has hinted of continuous engagement in a month's time with stakeholders. It is also pointing out that there currently exists no curriculum for sex education as purported by some people. Uh, solely guidelines. Here is Director General of the Ghana Education Service, Professor Kwesi Opokwa Mankwa, speaking on the sidelines of the event. September, October, there about last year. Um, there was a general public discussion on the issues relating to reproductive health, sexuality, comprehensive sexuality education that we teach in the schools, or some guideline came out. And um, at that time, we indicated that yet a couple of groups have worked on some guidelines, but it's not an approved guidelines. And we also indicated that once we want to take anything into the crowds, as far as these issues, uh, health and reproductive issues are concerned, we will engage the stakeholders. So this meeting was called to engage stakeholders. We put out the advert about a week ago. We wrote specifically to some groups, but we invited everyone generally. And um, the idea was that there is some guideline that has been developed. We wanted people to make an input, make suggestions as to what we should add, what we should take out, which would, as the chairman indicated, will fix our contests in terms of health, in terms of the needs and culture of the society. And the minister also went ahead to even give the constitutional requirements in terms of the things that we're supposed to be teaching. So we had a number of groups coming to make contributions. The major issue was that they weren't given enough time. What we have said is that this is not a one-off issue. So we are giving them enough time in fact, some have indicated that they need at least a month, so we use that as the time. And for them to submit their proposals. Today, I believe a lot of people made contributions, but the contributions were more like conclusions or general views. But we wanted them to actually tackle the content, give us what should go into the material that we will all accept and use in the classrooms. So that is what the issue is about. The chairman also outlined going forward. And I think he also used the opportunity to explain a few things. This is not a curriculum. What we have is not a curriculum. They are guidelines. It is a guidelines which people were asking the flesh when you put on the flesh, when you accept and you put on the flesh, that is when what becomes then the curriculum and the syllabus. And then based on that flesh that you've put on, those who want to develop teaching and learning materials can take it up and develop teaching and learning materials. When you develop the teaching and learning materials, and they are, you want those teaching and learning materials to go into our classrooms, those teaching and learning materials have to go through NACA. National Council for Curriculum and Assessment. For their assessment, they will evaluate and then give the approval and then make recommendations to Ghana Education Service that these materials are recommended for use. Then we will then look into those materials and those that we deem appropriate, we will also recommend to the government if it's something that the government needs to purchase, 
then government will purchase. Otherwise, they will be recommended for use and then they will be in the system and those who want to use them may use them. We've given ourselves one month, so if, if there is anything to hear from now, it should be one month from now. When we have had the responses that the people are talking of, then we move on from there. Yeah.